Hello Leo and welcome to your summer forecast for those of you in the northern hemisphere and your winter forecast for those of you who are in the southern hemisphere and since this reading represents the time frame of your season happy birthday to all the Leos out there this reading will cover between around June 20th through September 20th, 2021. We'll start with the general read to look at all your general energies over the next three months, and then we will do a second reading to look at your love and romance energies. So let's get right in, Leo, and pull an overall card, overall energy for you guys for the next three months. Show us, Leo. We've got Pluto energy with transformation. So in a general sense, as well as in a romantic sense, there is a lot of transformation taking place in your life. This is shifting of thought, shifting of emotion, um, shifting in your physical realm. This is a general read. So this transformation is gonna take place in different areas of your life to like different magnitudes. But overall, transformation, Leo, number 11, master number, things shifting and changing for the positive, for the good. Pluto rules Scorpio. That's the eighth house energy. And I feel like you guys are really overcoming something. It's Phoenix rising from the ashes. Something finally being able to to be laid to rest, you feeling very free, like a weight lifting off of you, an anchor at your soul being lifted. This feels so positive for you guys. So let's pull some cards, and I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like one plane <clears throat> after the next is flying over. And I actually had to wait a minute and wait for three of them to go by before I even turned the camera on. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. But you know what? What a positive sign. All these planes flying over. That means you're really taking off. Things uh, finally having lift to them. All right. Pull some more cards. Okay. So for end of June through July, we have yes energy. And this means where we've been blocked, where doors are closed, where we've been getting rejected, what's not happening, you know, just one no after the next, you're finally gonna get a yes. Oh, that feels so good. All right, August, the main time of you when the sun is in your season, we have the card of forgive them so there's some healing coming into play for you and you're really going to be able to let some heavy shadow energy go and that just uh pairs perfectly with pluto and then look at this as you move into september all through september we have spring energy new beginning and so <clears throat> Those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, as we get, you know, to the end of September, you guys are rolling into uh, the spring, right? And in the Northern Hemisphere, you're going to be rolling in to the autumn. So uh, September is like where you step from one world into a new world. So it starts end of June through July. Um, doors finally starting to open for you, you feeling more positive and optimistic, feeling free, a lot of healing taking place, um, a lot of movement through shadow energy, and oh my goodness, and the, I, I can just see it, it's like one plane after another taking off, I'm like about 10 minutes from the airport, Leo, but I don't hear planes this much. So you, it's like lift off the anchor um, in your soul, like being lifted. So much forgiveness, so much release, so much healing. And then because of all of this transformation, um, you know, through August and September, you step from one world into the next with this card. And I love to see this.
All right, let's uh, let's get some tarot out. And you know what? It's only like six in the morning here uh, where I live. Crazy. All those planes. And you know, it did not happen in uh, Gemini or Cancer's reading. So I look at that as very significant for you, Leo. So much lift off, so much take off, so much release. with the strength card which is you right there major transformation for Leo um, <clears throat> energies around you as well as in the workplace nine of swords with the five of wands things are going to work out better than you anticipate there's a lot of worry of, of rejection of no but you're going to get that yes Leo Queen of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody who hurt you, somebody who betrayed you, um, <clears throat> took advantage of you, rejected you. You're finally going to be able to overcome that. Now we have the King of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. Oh, all these planes. <clears throat> okay. Leo, I really feel um, we're looking at general energies here. And with Forgive Them and then the Six of Cups also popping through, I do see some uh, reconciliation. And I'm going to um, put this um, at this point in the reading to like family or friendships this could definitely talk about romance but we'll see what comes through in your romantic energies in the second reading but there are definitely friends family members that you are going to reconcile with um, they're going to come clean about a lot of different things um, with the queen of swords and the five of pentacles <clears throat> this is a very negative energy of somebody who's manipulative sharp with their tongue um it comes across as very aloof, uncaring, could be narcissistic, taking, selfish, very rejecting of you. Um, this person has hurt you a lot. And this feels um, more ongoing. This isn't just <clears throat> somebody where you guys had a, a fight and you just stopped talking. Like this runs much, much deeper than that. It's something that's been heavy on your heart, heavy on your mind. It's in your energy field, and you've really struggled to come to terms with it or what to do about it. Um, you know, will we ever be able to reconcile? We, will we ever be able to mend? And some of you, this could be like it's something that's been ongoing for five years, or you haven't even spoke to this person in five years. Whoever this is, whatever's happened, it, it really impacted you, it hurt you, it cut you deeply, and you've been struggling, and that goes uh, you know, right in alignment with the Pluto energy, the transformation coming out of this pain, finally being able to heal, finally being able to forgive and release the past. And for a lot of you, it's because you and this person are gonna finally be able to reconcile, and some of you, this might be multiple people, but energy is shifting in you as well as everybody else. We have the eclipses um, that lead us in to the summer energy in northern hemisphere, winter energy in southern hemisphere. And those are the game changers for all of us as well as Mercury being retrograde. And it's like where you don't feel you had support, you don't feel that um, you know you were valued, um, 
recognized for who and what you are in the workplace, in family situations, in friendship situations, in any situation where it's like you are a part of something more, okay? You're not feeling like you're getting back what you put out, not being appreciated, feeling like <clears throat> some of you, there was a great loss, um, something was taken from you, and it's been a huge, huge struggle to come to terms with it, to understand it. And finally, Leo, it's coming. Uh, it looks very strong for August is when this energy finally completes and finally wraps up. And something that um, you've been worried about, you know, as you come into July, you're finally going to get a positive answer or a positive outcome to it where you've been, you know, worried going back and forth inside yourself, a lot of anxiety, a lot of uncertainty, and that energy is going to play out in a different area of life for each of you. But it's like very restless, unsettled energy that you've been dealing with because it's a fear of no or a fear of more rejection or I have a deadline, I've got to, you know, make a decision or um, waiting for a decision. And it's like you're going to receive it at the perfect time. And it's a yes, like a positive outcome where you've gotten no, you're finally going to get a yes. And so that's very positive as, you know, um, you move through July. And that sets the stage for August for deep healing, understanding, um, communication, conversation, apologies, accountability. And because this energy wraps up, Seriously, it's like you're going from one world to the next. And um, with this King of Pentacles, this could be where you are starting a new job and you are in a better position than you were at your last job or you're getting promoted within your job to the next level. But you're very content, okay? Those of you that this plays out in the workplace, um, finally being recognized and rewarded. Um for others of you, I do feel like this is reconnection of certain relationships because somebody can finally take ownership and accountability for themselves, for their actions. And it allows for a true new beginning, a true fresh start because you both have evolved and grown and you both are now on the same page of what you want and what is expected out of a connection whether it's, you know, friends, family, co-workers, um, or some of you, this could be romance. We'll get into the romantic part of your reading. But I just, I want to pull a few more cards for you guys. <clears throat> oh, and you know what? Some of you where you've had a really bad falling out... Um, and it could have definitely involved money, assets, resources between you and another person. And it's like you feel a lot was taken from you um, unjustly. You have harbored a lot of um, heavy energy because of that. And this like healing and reconciliation, this may be not because you and this person are going to be all chummy again. But it's like this person finally takes accountability and responsibility and says what I did was wrong and I truly am remorseful for hurting you that way, Leo. And that I feel for some of you where it plays out like that, that is so healing to your soul just to receive that acknowledgement and it sets you free. Um, all those planes, all that lift off where you've just been really like underwater emotionally, financially, because um, those feel like the two strongest avenues for this reading, <clears throat> you're finally coming to the surface and then really taking off. So let's pull some more cards. Ten of Cups, <clears throat> happiness that you're going to hold on to. Oh, yeah, Seven of Swords. You're going to overcome, Leo. 
this energy, what needs to be forgiven, you're finally going to be at a place to do that with this Ten of Cups. This Ten of Cups trumps these energies where there was loss, there was deception, there was betrayal, times are hard, I don't have enough, um, I was lied to, I was taken advantage of, all of that. This is what's coming in, like trumping these energies, like you completed this emotional cycle of the different lessons attached to what you've been going through, like you've completed that and now you're expanding into this energy and the universe is aligning things to bring you the closure, bring you the understanding or bring you the new beginning that is part of your destiny, that's part of the plan finally getting yes where you've had nothing but no and rejection and major transformation out of some heavy energy Pluto eighth house that is intense stuff and it's Phoenix rising from the ashes of ruin and so what was ruined in the past you're finally rising from that and then all those darn planes taking off yes rising and <clears throat> things get better in the physical realm money resources job as well as emotionally for you and again you're going from one world into the next and wow my lights went off oh wrong one i there we go oh look at that the light went off and i just had to turn it back on like one world to the next leo you're going to not uh, be plagued with Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, giving you anxiety, making you worried, um, feeling trapped, feeling like you have no option, feeling like you have no solution, or just feeling plagued with emotional heaviness. Like you're finally coming out of that energy. That is the uh, main thing <clears throat> for the general reads. Great improvement to emotional. Um, health and satisfaction as well as in the physical like money job career getting uh, apology somebody taking accountability finally getting a yes or receiving the answer that you want that allows peace of mind to come in and you know as you uh, move to the end of September you're feeling very happy and very content with the way things are the way things are going in your life and things that have just been so heavy on your heart for such a long time lifted right off of you Leo because you've completed those emotional lessons so let's pull one final card for your emotional energies or emotional energies general energies and then we will get into your love and romance Wishing well, to make some wish magic, cast the spell, throw pennies into a wishing well. Leo, wishes coming true, prayers answered, uh, wishes granted, okay? There's a yes, a big yes coming in, um, end of June, sometime in July, you know, the timing is a little different for each of you, but it's like you can finally put your mind to rest, there's no more internal conflict happening because you're getting what you want you're getting the answer that you desire the information given to you <clears throat> gives you peace of mind so um summer for northern hemisphere or winter for southern hemisphere looks very positive for leos lots of breakthrough lots of lift off healing release all of it stepping into a whole new world. So let's get into your romance energies for the next three months. So we have a romantic feelings, keep an open mind, and engagement. Ooh, single Leos. Uh, July 
is bringing some romance. And look at the next card. It's new love as I say that. July is bringing some new romance into your world. This person is different than your typical person you would date. There is something that is just like complete opposite of what you normally go for. And Spirit is saying, keep an open mind because remember, you're stepping from one world into a whole new world, a whole new version of self. And this person who may seem very opposite of what you go for or very different from who you are, they are more of a match of what you are, you know, ultimately evolving into. Like they're a perfect match for that. And so Spirit's like, keep an open mind. Um, don't hold back because they're just vastly different or think very differently, have a very different upbringing than you, like whatever it is, don't let that hold you back because you're going to have some intense feelings um, right away, like a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction, but I just see you being like, well, you know, could this be long term? Could this be serious? This person is just so different um, from me or from what I typically date, do we have enough in common? <clears throat> you know, just those typical concerns. And Spirit's like, yeah, there's enough there. There's more potential here than you realize because now that we're, you know, done with this like Pluto transformational energy and you're evolving into a whole different version of self, that's like a whole new path, a whole new cycle of your soul. You're going to expand and blossom and grow in so many different ways um, along that journey that this person is the perfect person to grow and blossom with you. And because you both are, there's this, this uh, big difference, um, it, it allows each of you to activate the other and expand the other's consciousness into like whole new realms that neither of you would otherwise know if you didn't know each other and have each other to share that and activate each other. And through that, you both are going to come into like new interests and new ideas that are not a part of either one of you through the meshing and blending of your different energies. It's so beautiful, like this canvas being painted, the spirit showing me. And you just, you're really gonna enjoy this person and um, they're gonna enjoy you and it's gonna move kinda quick. Like, uh, as we're in September, here it is. It's like, hey, let's, let's get committed. And you know what, that might be what this is about, is um, some of you, it may be like this relationship moves very, very quickly and you have like friends or family that are, are saying, hey, you know, you might want to slow down. You might want to, you know, think about this uh, before you rush into things. And you've got to follow what your heart's telling you, Leo, because when it's right and you have a destiny with somebody, you just know it in your soul and you feel it so strongly. And so it's like shut the whole world out and follow your heart with this new person um, because you guys are just going to create this beautiful paradise of love like over the next six months just exploring each other and um, it, learning all these new different things both of you it's beautiful and you're so happy you're just so in it um, follow your heart Leo those of you who are already um, you know, in a relationship, there is some sort of progression to this energy um, over the next three months where something is going to be put on the table. Let's do this. Let's do that. And there's a little bit of hesitancy um, on, you know, one of the sides here. So you could be putting this out there, this person that your person is hesitant or they're putting something out there and you're feeling a little bit hesitant. Um, on either side, Spirit is saying, really be open, really be flexible, really compromise in your partnership through the next three months because 
through that um, just really flowing energy, it's going to bring you guys closer than ever before. Whether you've been talking for a week or you've been dating for a year or you've been together for 10 years, it's like this is a time to be very fluid, very flexible, very open um, and explore the unfamiliar and it truly is bringing you guys closer than you have ever, ever been before and it's like um, making you fall in love all over again but in a whole different frequency of the love vibration oh it's deep and beautiful this um, next three months Leo is such a game changer for you just overall uh, mentally and emotionally so much stress being lifted off of you so much happiness and joy feeling your heart feeling your soul I love love to see this let's um, pull some more cards maybe some of you are about to be doing a lot of traveling too with all these planes flying over I don't know if there was like a delay or for planes taking off because of weather out there I don't know but never since I've been here it hasn't been that busy that loud like that back to back to back okay so we have acceptance ego consciousness and disillusionment okay <clears throat> lessons journey lessons this is what we're leaving behind this is what we are overcoming and you know with this acceptance this is where events are playing out in the perfect way for you Leo that you can accept the past romantically for whatever it is whether you're single and you've been working on letting you know old emotions go or you are involved with somebody and you guys are going to overcome this you know current version of self and any challenges involved and you know expand into a new love with each other it's a complete acceptance of the past being able to let it go and release and here with the keep an open mind and the ego consciousness again this is where spirit is saying be very flexible be very open with new love energies coming in or new ideas for existing connection because it's gonna it's like exactly what you need right now in this moment and with this illusionment this is where you know what you know at your soul you know what's meant to be for you and if a relationship a new relationship is moving really quickly you just know that it's like what's meant to be it's like you guys might be accused of you know looking before you leap and all of these things and um, it just might be like there's odd circumstances in one of your lives it, it's just like some sort of hurdle um, but it's not really a hurdle it, it's a matter of perception and that's why spirit is like follow your heart don't let anybody on the outside try to make you second guess your your love your romance your connection to another person because you know what you know you feel what you feel and it there's just oh, so much potential with this person um, new love and existing love being very flexible and moving into new ideas concepts I'm telling you brings you closer than ever before and it's like the past just fades away just falls away and those challenges those fights um, disagreement we're no longer budding um, conscious uh, consciousnesses we're no longer budding egos it, it's like you guys expand beyond that and it's the the connection itself that's driving the relationship not what the ego is saying so a lot of evolution and transformation in romance energies for Leo as well all right let's pull some more cards Divine Feminine of Flames, Attractive, Charismatic, and Passionate. 
This could absolutely represent your energy, whether you are male or female. This would be the Queen of Wands. Next is, uh, we've got Karma. And look, this is number 11. Um, Pluto is number 11. So Karma balance, balancing divine order and reaping. And lastly, Seven of Flames, um, competition, jealousy, old flames. So in existing relationships, any, um, look at, look at what's next. Yeah, I need to pull that. This goes here with this extra romance angels card right there. So we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, Leo, you are out of place. Single Leos where you are going to be able to release the past, heal the past, forgive the past and get back into the game and karma has been balanced so what's coming in now romantically is meant to be a very solid connection that has a lot of potential that grows and moves with you for quite some time and again it, it gets very quick like hot and heavy and deep very very quickly and here competition jealousy old flames um, that's where there may be some outside influence with people saying, hey, are you guys moving too quick? Blah, 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 blah. It's none of their business. Like, you guys know what you know. Also, Leo, um, you may have, because we did see, you know, the healing, you may have somebody from the past, an ex, an old flame, like, trying to come back in um, to be with you now or to give you attention now. But with disillusionment sitting above that, it's like you're over it now. And maybe um, back in April or January of this year, you weren't. But now, as you go into July, you're over it, Leo. You are over the past. You're transforming out of that. You're healed down to your core. And anybody that's like trying to come back in, um, I feel if it's like closure for you. The, the final release for you. It's like, yeah, we could be f cool with each other or thank you for, you know, these kind words, but I'm good. I don't know that you want them back in your life. I feel um, people that you let back in, it's more of like a family or friend connection over romance just because of the way the romance cards have come out. It's like anybody um, romantically of the past trying to come back in, um, over these next three months, I just don't see that you want them anymore because you've changed. You are transforming. And the old version of you that was attached to this person, you're not that person anymore. You're, you've become somebody else. And so you're realizing, hey, I'm kind of over you. I'm over this. I don't want this anymore. And it could also have a lot to do with this new connection for you singles that's coming in. Um, aligned, divine union, true love, twin flames. This would be the lovers in a standard um, tarot deck. So this new person, this new energy has caught your eye, has caught your interest emotionally and spiritually. And anything from the past, I just feel like you're over it. And hearing from them, only brings you like full closure and full release. It doesn't, um, maybe in the past, like it would have given you an ego boost, but it doesn't even do that. Like you're just over it. You don't care anymore. You're like, you know, thank you for the memories. Thank you for the lessons. I'm happy. I'm good. My life is like taking off. All feels well. And there's no space for you in my life anymore. Like, it's over. It's done. I'm good. And you mean it. And you're just, you're happy moving on um, with this new love, this new energy. And those of you, you know, already involved with somebody, any, like, issues that have been hanging around <clears throat> of the past, um, things that happened in the past, um, old relationships, anything like that, you guys are finally coming to a place of overcoming that and getting on the same page and connecting and relating more at the soul 
rather than the ego. Like there could have been some insecurity. Um, somebody could have been working on, um, you know, healing emotions. Maybe wasn't totally emotionally available when you guys first connected or things have been challenging and heavy for you. And now it's like the flow is coming in. Both of you, I feel, are being more flexible and compromising with each other and trying new things and it just allows the past to fade away and you guys are falling in love all over again and thinking like no matter the challenge no matter the trouble we faced i'm so happy that i'm still here with you and like the best is yet to come for us it's like a whole new venture a whole new journey um for some leos who are already involved with somebody and single leos it's all about a new love coming in and changing your mind and taking you to new dimensions, pulling you in to new ideas and interests and experiences and vice versa. It's like all about the new for you guys. So wonderful energy for Leo over the next three months, transforming out of some heavy, painful stuff and life finally feeling good. So those are your messages, Leo. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.